Uh, again, we start from the weekly time frame as always, and uh, we uh, actually look at uh, what uh, what has been going on in this market. Um, in this market, it's actually in a confirmed lateral move on a very, very large monthly time frame here. As we can see, bears were not doing their jobs and uh, bulls were not able to do their job. They actually tried to support this price, but then that failed. So where is this market going? Well, this market is still moving lower. In order to understand where it is going, we need to study the sequence of measure move on this time frame and then maybe also on the lower time frame. And when we do that, we discover a market that is really not uh, very technical. I mean, this can be a good play and it's very active. It's a good Pacific play, which is very active, but uh, it's not uh, as technical as uh, other markets that I like to trade. It doesn't mean that we should not look at it because very often uh, this market wake up and give us opportunities or they become technical on a specific time frame for a specific uh, um, uh, on a specific uh, period of time and they actually give um, they actually give opportunities now this market and we could identify this only after the fact I call these jumping extensions and there are ways of identifying jumping extensions before the fact uh, but sometimes we have no ways and no rules to identify those jumping extensions before the fact so we have to do that after the fact. So this is what we see here. Uh, this price has participated around 88 and he has a first target uh, 7461. Can you see how it is important that we identify this level because even if we are not trading that we can use that information and knowing that this but this market the algos as smart money is pushing this market into this area it's and this specific level it's very very important because we could use that information if we have a bounce and we can enter for a swing trade so it's very very important that we always keep an eye on what's going on and we always also try to understand and um, identify uh, what's going on on uh, the inner sequence of measure move. As you can see here, the other time, the other time frame, the, uh, the larger time frame here, which is the weekly, is actually pushing this price lower. What I want to do here is just highlight the target from the larger time frame here, which is this one, is this 7461. But the inner measure move, which is identified by the 8241 level here is also pushing this price lower and it's pushing this price lower towards a target that is below the larger target. So obviously the larger target is going to get more attention. But can you see that analyzing what um, the smart money is doing, we can actually get ideas of where the market can go and also identify trading plan and targets and I'm only showing you this on the weekly time frame. Of course, when we do this on the daily time frame, uh, we actually um, we actually um, have the opportunity to understand uh, a little bit more what's going on, and um, and also how uh, that money is playing this market. All right, now. I showed you here the participation in the 49, which is was, was also aligned with uh, that money. So the reason why this market then they move very quickly lower is because uh, apparently all the interests are aligned, right? Uh, there is also dump money that initially pushes this price higher in this area, but as soon as that area is gone, then we know what's um, yeah, we know who's winning and what's happening. All right, so now uh, uh, you could have taken opportunity here in this area here. There were good trades, and uh, but now for now we need to understand how we can play this market, and that's uh, the thing that we want to focus on now. So considering that this market is potentially moving into that uh, seventy-four level that we have provided before, so how do we trade this market? Should be in a short here. Due to this participation from um, from smart money here, and 
uh, there's not really a lot uh, we can uh, we can do at this point. We, yeah, we are looking at a bounce here from previous lows, and uh, one uh, one way to play this, as we have not reached the target of this setup here, would be if and only if the market retraces into the 50% level and into this value at a short, we could trade this market. Um, the four-hour time frame might show. A sequence that we can take advantage of and of course you have the usual levels here to show you how this method could be applied and can be applied in reality uh, on a smaller uh, time frame as well in a in a, um, uh, in a uh, uh, fashion that is uh, very very um, that, that is actually um, fractal and as you can see there's a very nice and well-formed um, and well formed um, um, sequence here, which was broken. The low here was printed before the high, and we can go and double check that whether the low was printed before the high. Yes, the low was printed before the high. So there is a break in this sequence, which is not very relevant because there's no 50% is actually um, supporting this price at this stage. So doesn't mean that that break will actually um, result in, um, in, um, in a move higher. However, here we also have a very interesting um, pattern that I want to bring to your, okay, your, uh, your um, uh, attention here. If this market retraces into the 7783, that's something that you want to take into account, and um, that could be a potential entry short in a continuation lower. I don't see a lot of uh, opportunity uh, for this market to uh, reverse here, reverse here, and start moving higher. We are in a very well formed sequence of measure moves. There is a target here, 7460, which also lines up with low. So there's no reason to believe that this market is going to um, retrace back uh, here. Uh, and a retrace could actually bring price into 7784, sorry, 38, and that could be an area where we uh, keep short in this market. Okay. And um, 